Good morning, right, we've have made it. We've made it into week number six. It's just me taking back my life after 2023 destroyed it. I'll put a pin up the top there so for the video so you can see what happened to me in 2023. Uh, I'm documenting it onto my YouTube channel as well. Not only that, I'm using it like a massive diary so I can also always look back on this moment one day later on in life. So there's my scales just up there. That's where I've been taking my weight every single day. Yes, we don't worry about fluctuations going up and we don't worry about going down so here comes my progress photo so there's my front shot which is just there they're then going to go into my side shot and then let's go into the back shot like i said i'm in week number six um in my calorie deficit all i did was create myself a 500 calorie deficit um there's my before photos which are there so i'm gonna put my before and my uh, photo that I was this morning from my front shot side to side for you just so you can have a look but you can actually see a lot of difference coming in now lifts in the gym are getting really really good so I'm going to failure on every single exercise now I'm concentrating on the tempo I'm concentrating on the form and I'm either going up the reps or I'm going up the weights all I've been doing for my cardio is just trying to hit about 20,000 steps a day which is something that I can do because obviously I've got to do school runs I've got a dog as well so what I normally normally do is I just normally put a podcast on and I listen to a podcast as I'm getting my steps in and I'm going for my walks in the morning or maybe in the afternoon I just listen to something and it helps me get my steps in as well actually just concentrating on a very high protein diet in my calorie deficit do I cut the chocolate out no do I cut the ice cut the ice cream out no I still include my favorite things that I like to eat but what I do is I just eat it in moderation so I concentrate on a nutritious diet getting my protein in letting the fog carbs and my fats fall into place and usually by the end of the day i've got about 200 calories left quite easy i can easily stick in let's just say an apple and what i normally like to eat it's one of them curly whirly bars now if you haven't had one of them you haven't lived what i'm planning to do is get up to week 12 in my calorie deficit and then what i want to do after that is probably go into like a a one to two week diet break before I go into another block. So when I have my diet break, all I'm gonna do is just increase my calories ever so slightly, but I'm not gonna go off track. I'm still gonna do what I'm doing, what I've been doing in my calorie deficit, but do it on my diet break for probably two weeks. When I get to a comfortable, where I'm comfortable and I feel happy, then I will do a reverse diet. But what I'll do is I'm gonna YouTube how I'm gonna do my reverse diet in, and I'm gonna document it as well. So you can just see me where I'm gonna just reverse it back up. But that's not for a long, long time yet. We're just gonna keep plugging away. So there's my six weeks update. I'm really, really proud of it absolutely buzzing when i'm seeing slight little changes now starting to happen um like i said i'm just going to keep plugging away at this thing okay so if you do want to follow me on my journey feel free to hit the like button and the subscribe button because then you're going to be notified every time that i post that one of these videos also if you want to go and have a look everything's in a playlist um from day one all the way up here okay so until then i'll see you like in the next one